It's very scary. I'm actually fighting against a current. Piles of stuff are a part of Zipporah Harris's everyday life. I try to keep some of my house as clutter-free as possible. The location we're going to do today, I usually now do about once a week. Tell me what you did here. You might have thought Zipporah was the hoarder, but actually she is a organizer that specializes in helping hoarders. So why does she have so much stuff in her house? More on that later. Yes, it's a dust bunny. Do you call yourself a hoarder? I do now. I didn't used to. I didn't want to use that word. This woman is one of Zipporah's seven clients in the capital region. She's well known in her community and has struggled with hoarding for nearly 30 years. She was so embarrassed. We are protecting her identity. The stereotypical hoarder may be more like me than most people recognize. The stereotypical hoarder may be someone that goes into public, dresses nicely, lives in a nice house in a nice neighborhood, but never, ever, ever lets anybody in the front door. Uh. For a year and a half, this woman has worked with Zipporah to overcome her problems with her stuff. There's only a certain amount of space in the house, and after a while, it was going to get full. I found it scary. We downsize slowly. It helps them to be in charge. She will not throw out so much as a dust bunny without my permission, without my explicit permission. Organizing the home is a slow process, but Zipporah says they've come leaps and bounds. Right now we're standing in the garage and you're seeing piles of stuff, boxes, carpeting. And though this is a garage, Zipporah tells me that every single room in this house used to look like this. When we first walked in, the door couldn't be opened all the way. There were only pathways to get through the house. Uh, you could not see the floor. We can see the floor. Yes, there's a floor in here and people come in and say, oh, I didn't know you owned a table. In a week, they were able to transform one room from this to this. But most hoarders I've worked with tend to have some trauma associated to the hoarding condition in their lives. You can see that. Back at Zipporah's, the reason why she has so much stuff is because she finds it helps hoarders. Knowing that their items will be redistributed makes it easier for them to let go. Bethesda House takes magazines. When I send things out of the house with Zipporah, I know that they're going to be well and appropriately used and not wasted. This stuff. We've made progress. It's not finished, but we've made progress, and progress is possible. Christine O'Donnell, News 10 in the Morning.